Namaste, namaste to your neighbor. center. We carry so much energy within our palms. Feel that energy there. Bring it in to your heart center. And start to breathe into the chest. Breathing into the core. Setting your intention for your practice. What do you want to get out of this time? Next breath in. Let's open the eyes and reach the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Take your right hand down, left arm over, looking up. Coming back up to center and we inhale. And over to the left, exhale. Inhale, coming up. We're just going to move side to side. I want you to start feeling what's going on in your spine. Notice what's going on in your rib cage. Moving with the breathing and explore creating more depth in your inhale and exhale. Finishing on the left. Let's come back up to neutral. Take the hands to interlace. Let's round the back. Tuck the chin. Reach the tailbone forward as we round the back. And coming back up. Flip the palms. Lift the chin. And move with your breath. Make the movements really slow and explore the shape that you make. Explore how the breath moves in that shape. The next time we come up will be our last one. And exhale, take the arms out wide, taking the chin parallel to the ground. Taking the thumbs into the fists to start to make circles with the wrists. Try to go slow. And try not to hunch the shoulders. See if we can keep the posture open, collarbones wide. We're not straining through the neck or the shoulders. And let's go the other way. Again, chin up, parallel with the ground, so there's no move or no break in the breath. And let's hold to center, reach the arms forward or out wide, and then take the hands to the tops of the shoulders and make circles. taking the hands down and let's move to table. Taking the hands under the shoulders. It's really important your foundation here. So spread your fingers and push down into the finger pads, the knuckle pads, and the palms equally. As we inhale, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, open through the chest. Exhale and round. As you're rounding, really push into the mat so you can feel the squeeze of your core. Inhale and expand, lift the chin and the tailbone, and exhale, round. Try to get the chin right into the collarbones, get long through the back of the neck. Keep moving with your breath. Spine neutral means that we've still got 
have that natural curve of the low back and the natural curve in the back of the neck. See if you can draw your lower belly in so that you're protecting your back here. Take the right arm straight out to the right and up to the sky. We're trying to create a twist here. So drawing the shoulder blades back and keep lengthening through your spine as you try to bring the right shoulder towards the sky. Take one more breath in. Exhale, take the right hand down to table. We're just switching sides. Left arm out and up. And just notice how this feels into that right side and open it up. Notice if you're hanging, try to push yourself out of that left, uh, right shoulder and keep reaching the left fingers. Big breath in. Exhale, the hand comes down. And let's sit back to child's pose, putting the hips back towards the heels, reaching the arms forward and long. Or if it feels better, you can have your hands under your forehead. Or you can have your hands beside your feet. Find something that feels comfortable and breathe into your back. on the left side, holding to neutral, the arms reaching up, exhale, hands to heart, big breath in, exhale, fold forward, taking your hands down to the mat, right foot steps back, and the right knee comes down. So as we're here, we're opening up the right hip flexor. Coming up onto your left knee, hands to the knee, and just take your time getting there. We want the left ankle kind of underneath the knee, but if you need it to go in a different angle, then do what works. If you want to get more space into that right hip, you can tuck the right toes back and drag the knee back if that feels good. So see now if we can steady the body, spread the toes of the left foot, try not to use the hands, but if you need them, put them on your knee again, arms up when you're ready. Keep breathing. Smile here. Exhale, the hands come down. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee, take the left foot back. This is our plank pose. We've got a straight line from the hips to the crown. Or you can bring your knees down and you still have that straight line. So you choose, inhale here. Let's bend the elbows, point them back as we exhale. Think about getting the chest to land. 
right in between the thumbs. The hips are down. Inhaling to cobra. So with cobra, we're strengthening the back. Take the elbows forward and let's move it into sphinx. So now we've got the elbows holding us up. So elbows forward. Yes. Plant the palm. Right down. Yes. Pull your shoulder blades back. So it's the, it's the shape of the cobra, but we have the aid of the elbows to help. Keep pushing the tops of your feet down and just notice how this feels into your spine. Point your tailbone towards your heels and notice how that can lengthen your back. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, elbows go wide, take the chest down. Hands under shoulders and push it back. Table, toes tuck under and move to downward dog. Breathe here. Try to make the breath long. So inhaling, maybe for like four seconds five seconds, and exhaling, controlling it as it comes out, inhale, come up onto the toes, walk your feet to your hands, fold forward, inhale, come up to stand, reach the arms up, we're coming back down, exhale, fold, hands touch down, left foot goes back, left knee comes down. Take your time getting there. You want to end up with the knee over the ankle, and then when you're ready, hands to the knee. Get yourself steady, so you need to activate both sides of the pelvis. Right toes are spread, shoulder blades are back and down, and let's move arms up when you're ready, or you can keep them on your knee. Big breath in, smile. Exhale, hands come down. Left toes tuck under and inhale the right foot back to plank. You choose on or off your knees. Exhale, lower back or down to the belly. And then you come back up into your sphinx or you can use your cobra, whatever you feel here. Big inhale. Exhale, elbows wide, hands under shoulders, and push back to table, downward dog. Take your feet to the edges of your mat. Walk your hands towards your feet. Turn your toes out and bend the knees wide, sitting the hips low, and coming back up. Move with your breath. We're trying to get some movement to the hip joints, the knee joints, ankles, warming up the muscles of the thighs. Two more. The next time that the hips are up, keep them up. Turn your toes forward and walk your hands forward just about six inches shorter than a downward dog, maybe a foot shorter than a downward dog. Take your right hand under your left arm and reach for your left ankle. Keep pushing your hips back, maybe looking under the left arm. Come back to neutral, right hand next to left, and switch sides. Left hand under right arm. Left hand reaching for the right ankle. Keep pushing your armpit back. Take the left hand forward, walking the hands forward, downward dog. Find your feet, find your hands, big breath in. Exhale, down to the knees, sitting to the tops of the feet. Make yourself comfortable here. We're going to do a breathing exercise. This is really good for cleansing the lungs 
as well as releasing unnecessary old emotions. So, I'll demonstrate quickly. It's in and out strongly through the nose. We inhale to reach the arms up, we spread the fingers really energetically, and with the exhale, it's a strong exhale through the nose, tucking the thumbs into the fist. So I'll demonstrate quick. Okay, and then we're gonna do uh, maybe 20 or 30. I'll, I'll tell you when. And then on our last one, we hold the arms up and hold the breath in. If this is not comfortable on your ankles and knees, you can sit in a regular seat. If that doesn't feel good, you can roll your mat and sit on your mat rolled up. Okay. Inhale, arms up. If you have any um, health issues, I'm gonna ask you to do your slow deep breathing instead of this. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to begin. In and out through the nose. No tension on the face. of the front foot, that's going to give you more ease to the ankle. Move to warrior two, right foot plant, right toes point to the right, and take the arms out wide. Square the pelvis towards the side of your mat and spread the toes, big breath in. Exhale the hands to the front of the mat. Right toes turn forward, left foot goes back. Inhale. Lower slow as we exhale if you want. Come down to the knees first. Inhale to your cobra. Exhale to down dog. Notice how you feel. up onto the toes, inhale, walk your feet to your hands, exhale, folding at the front of the mat, inhale to stand, reach 
Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Reset. Equalize how it feels on both sides of the body. Get strong into the breathing. Strong through your spine. Let your crown be tall. Your chest is open. Gently smile. Arms up. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Left foot comes back. If you find that you're wobbly one side to the other, then you can walk your right foot a little bit to the right. So that way you have a wider stance. Get strong into the pelvis and legs. Hands to the right knee when you're ready. Strong through that back leg. Arms up when you're ready. Moving to warrior two. Left toes turn to the left, arms go out wide. Try to drop your left hip. Opening up through that right knee. Try not to reach forward. Go back so that the head is over the tailbone. Push to the outer edge of your right foot. Yes. Exhale, hands down to the front of the mat. Left toes turn forward. Right foot goes back. Breath in. Exhale to lower down. Honor off your knees. Inhale into cobra. Exhale into child's pose. Breathing into the back. Expanding through the ribs. Walk 
Check your foundation, move when you're ready, press it. Warrior two. So really important here, the back foot is one of your main foundations. So use it. Try not to roll to the inside of the ankle because you're not going to be able to use the whole foot. Check in with your pelvis and drop your left hip so it's in line with your right. Spread the toes equally. Big inhale. Hands to the front as we exhale. Turn your left toes forward. We're staying low in our lunge. Hands stay down. Right arm goes out and up. Pull both shoulder blades back. Drop the hips a little more. Get into that left hip flexor. Deep breath in. Hand down as we exhale. Now start by rolling outer edge of the left foot. Don't lose the strength of that left thigh. Right foot plants halfway down the mat, and the right arm goes up. You're still using the left shoulder, the left abdominals, the left outer leg. If you need to, the left knee can be down instead. You're still using your shoulder and your abdominals. Big breath in. Hand down as we exhale. Right foot goes back. Lower down. Let's just make a pillow with the hands. Breathing into the back ribs. Slow the heart rate down. to come up to table, downward dog, every time you come into your downward dog, check your foundation, equalize the hands, equalize the feet, try to press your armpits back to your thighs, let the back of the hand lengthen, so try not to look forward, look down so that you can lengthen the back of your neck. Yes, let the head hang. Lift your heels, come to the center of the mat and fold. Coming all the way up to stand, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. slightly wider, maybe like shoulder distance or hip distance. With this breathing exercise, it's really good again for detoxing the lungs and increasing the immune system. Also really good for getting rid of toxic thoughts. So the arms go wide. I'll demonstrate quickly. We tap the chest with the left hand as we twist to the right. Inhale back to center and then tap the right hand to the chest as we twist to the left. It's a powerful breath in and out through the nose, but make sure that you're breathing deeply every time. And you make a sound so that you're really feeling that. Again, if you have any health issues, do your ujjayi breath instead, or your um, regular breathing. Inhale, arms wide, and begin.
right heel to lift. So notice here, we don't want to let the left hip drop, so keep the pelvis square. You're going to have to use the left thigh and glutes to hold you here. Start to turn the right knee to the right, and then just drag it back so that you can keep the heel in line with the left ankle. Again, check in with the pelvis. Hands come to your heart. Try not to change the length that you have in your spine. Let's see about taking the right foot up, just a couple inches. Keep the right knee reaching to the right. No tension on the shoulders. Let's take the arms up. Check in with that left foot. Keep spreading the toes. Big inhale. Exhale, left knee forward, or right knee forward, hands down, and right foot down. Just notice how you feel here. Coming back to balance. Deep breath in, don't let your head hang. Maybe we can do this with a smile. 
Exhale, lower for four, three, two, and one. Good job. Make a pillow with your hands. Let your heels fall out to the sides of your mat. Let your forehead rest on the back of your hands. We will do two bumblebee breaths here. So having the forehead on the backs of your hands and bring your awareness into your third eye. This breath is really good for helping to soothe the physical body. It's also really good for helping to balance the emotions. So be mindful as you do this and feel the vibration of your breath in your forehead, your third eye. It's going to be stimulating through that area. So the breath is an inhale long and slow and then the exhale is a humming sound. I will guide the breathing as we go. We'll do two. So let's inhale together. Exhale to begin. Just feel that vibration. The breath is moving slow. Inhale, coming up to table. Exhale to the knees and just shifting the feet over to one side, making our way to seated with the legs straight in front. Taking the right foot into the left inner thigh. Squaring the chest over the left leg and fold forward. Now as we're here, think about opening up the back, the rib cage, the back of the left knee. Try not to hunch the shoulders or create any tension in the neck. Inhale to come up. Take your right leg forward. Left foot in. Square the chest over the right leg and fold. Coming back up to center, taking both legs forward, bend the knees, and coming on to the back. Taking your hands beside you and walk your feet close to you. Spread the toes, ground into the feet equally, and start to lift the tailbone, pressing into the feet, lift the hips, lift the back. And you can stay here with your hands beside you, using your hands to help press into the mat, or take your hands to interlace under you, only if that feels good on the shoulders. Keeping the hands beside you will help you to use the upper body strength to push into your palms as you lift the hips. Big breath in. Exhale to lower the hips down. 
Inhale, the right knee comes into the chest and exhale it up to the sky, right leg straight. Start to circle the ankle slow. Let's go the other way. Hold it to neutral. Bend the right knee. Take the ankle to the left thigh, opening the right knee to the right, and then left knee into the chest. As you take the knee into the chest, you can take the hands to hold the left shin, or you can take your hands beside you, whatever feels good to that right hip. Taking the left foot down, take the right leg up. Keep the right knee towards your right shoulder and see if you can reach for the bottom of your foot with both hands. Try to get into that right hip as we take the right knee towards the right armpit. This is our half happy baby pose. Straighten that left leg on the mat, and we'll access a little more length into that hip flexor. Keep breathing. Releasing the right foot down, plant the foot, take the left heel to the sky, hands behind the left leg, and slowly circle the ankle. Try not to rush. Let's go the other way. Coming back to center, bend the knee, take the ankle to the right thigh. Left knee falls left and right knee comes into the chest. You choose how deeply you take it in. The intention is to get an external rotation of that left hip, so we're not forcing anything. You want to still keep the back of the head and your pelvis down. Using the hands to the right shin only if you need more intensity. Now find your breath full and wide. the right foot down, the left heel off the ankle, our thigh, then let's hold the bottom of the left foot. Left knee outside the left armpit, and right leg long on the mat. more breath to your right side. Come back to neutral, taking the knees into the chest, hands to the shins, lift the hips just an inch to lengthen the low back. Take your right foot down and your left knee crosses the right. Let the knees fall to the right. Using the right hand on the left outer knee if you need it. Exactly. 
exaggerate your breath into the left side. Coming back to neutral, knees to chest, taking the legs up to the sky, take the arms up to the sky. Try to have as little weight in the arms and legs as possible. Let the fingers be soft, let the ankles be soft, let the muscles around the calves and thighs be relaxed. We will do two Brahmari breaths here. Inhale.
Bigger movement as you feel ready. Bring the knees to the chest. Rolling onto one side. And make your weight seated. Bring your hands to your knees. Palms facing up. Closing the eyes. Gently smile. After your yoga practice, after your shavasana, the mind is clear and calm. So this is a perfect opportunity to give yourself words of strength or encouragement so that your subconscious mind can absorb them directly. So just taking the next few breaths here to, you can repeat a few words or a few sentences in your mind. Let yourself absorb that. Ha, 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 ha.